Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. This is Shalonda King of Menagerie Market. I figured I would come to you today on this lovely Sunday afternoon in my full caftan realness. I would stand up, but I don't wanna mess up my lighting. <laughs> so I figured I would come to you and do a quick haul. I did get a little bit off schedule last week. I wanted to make videos once a week, but you know, life be life in. So a couple of housekeeping things to get out of the way. I'm gonna do the best that I can to speak clearly because your girl is back in Invisalign. Check that out. You can't really see them, but I feel like I sound like Elmer Fudd. Also, still struggling with where to look, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have some really good things to show you guys. I'm going to try to keep this to no more than 10 minutes. My friends, oh, wait a minute, more housekeeping things. So first off, I want to give a shout out to two channels that have been immensely helpful to me. First is Restored Glory. I will sing her praises, Donna of Restored Glory. Thank you so much for getting me involved in reselling. Most of the things, or as a matter of fact, all of the things that I'm going to show you today, I actually got from her. She's doing a little bit of a clean out and she was like, girl, you want to come by and get some stuff? And I was like, of course, say less. So shout out Donna. And also I want to shout out D from Thrill of the Thrift. So Donna and D did a live sale. I want to say it was this past Wednesday. Oh, excuse me. This past, uh, not Wednesday, this past Monday. And D shouted out my channel. I was like, what? <laughs> so D, if you're watching this, thank you so much for the shout out. It was much appreciated. And also, I've been watching your channel ever since D kind of hipped me to you, excuse me, ever since Donna kind of hipped me to you. And you are fantastic. So, from one New Yorker to the next, how you doing? <laughs> if y'all watch her channel, y'all know what's up with that. Okay, so where am I going to start? Um, let's start with some of the small stuff. So, and again, I'm going to blow through this. So first up, we have these nice candle holders. They are from Crate and Barrel. They feature a really thick glass base, if you can see that there. Really thick glass base, you know, very clean lines, and I have two of them. So I just thought these were really, really, really pretty, right? By the way, quick side note, <laughs> if y'all can see what my living room looks like right now, like, I had a whole bunch of stuff in this chair. I threw it over in the couch. I've got my little mini tripod set up here. I've got my whole kitchen island that I dragged out of the kitchen set up here so that I could put a ring light up there. It's a whole thing. I'm going to get it together, y'all. I'm going to get it together. Okay. So the next thing I picked up from Restored Glory are these Budweiser beer glasses. You can take a look at that sturdy base feature features images of the traditional Clydesdale horses and the copyright date is 1992 so I just thought these were really pretty um, I know that there are people out there that collect beer glasses or that are Budweiser fans so I thought they would really like these. And I think I have six of them. So what is next? Oh, and this is in no particular order, right? Next up are these Holly Hobby glasses. Isn't she, how do the young kids say, but don't say totes adorb. <laughs> so these are Coca-Cola branded, Merry Christmas limited edition Holly Hobby glasses. Now, I had never heard of Holly Hobby. So I don't know, wait, am I saying that right? Yeah, Holly Hobby. I've never heard of Holly Hobby. I don't know if it's a cartoon character or something like that, but a lot of this stuff I need to look up. So I believe I have about nine 
of these. And because I don't want to forget to say this, excuse me, if you see anything in this video that you like, just contact me directly. Um, my contact information is in the about tab of my YouTube. And also I will drop it in the description box. Okay, so I figured I'm just going to start out with the small things. So next up is this cute owl trivet. Kind of a copper brass coloring with a turquoise blue green type of situation going on in the bottom. I would say this is probably about five by five inches. I mean, it's the size of my hand. So made in Taiwan. So I just thought that this was great. I wish I had more than one, but I only have one. So, you know, it is what it is. By the way, drop down in the comments and let me know if you have any tips for these videos that I'm doing because I'm learning. I'm a new YouTuber. I've only been at this for like two months, but I am enjoying it. I am really enjoying it. Okay, so the next thing I have are these Pier 1 coasters. I've never seen coasters like this, but they are a beaded material. And it's giving real 1970s, I've got a shag carpet, you know, and I'm listening to Superfly on an eight track vibes, right? So these are from Pier One, set of four. So these are groovy. Okay, so I picked up a bunch of Charming Tales figurines. I had never heard of Charming Tales, but apparently people love these things. I think I will insert, well, first let me show you this one. Now I have to admit, these are really cute. Charming Tales, Fitz and Floyd, Fitz and Floyd. And this is a tulip for two. They are adorable. They are adorable. So I actually picked up about nine. Nine of these, uh, uh oh. I don't know how to get this back in. <laughs> I picked up about nine of these in different variations. And so I will insert here all of the different variations that I picked up of these. Hopefully by the time this video comes up, or by the time I put it up, I will have all of these things listed for sale. I cannot believe eight minutes has gone by already. I said, this ain't gonna be but 10 minutes. <laughs> the lie detector proved that was a lie. Okay, so let me move a little bit faster because also I am on borrowed time with my phone battery. So I also picked up this cream, wait, sugar and cream set. Aren't these lovely? Pay no attention to the reflection in these things because then you'll notice how messy my living room is right now. I told you I'm a work in progress, I'm a work in progress. And it comes with this beautiful serving platter. If you can see that. with this lovely engraving on it. There you go, let's angle that. Now, I think that this is probably kind of a mass produced run of the mill type of situation because when I look at the quality of it, it looks mass produced, but it's still pretty nonetheless. You know, I feel like there is a place for the things that are, let's say, hoity-toity, so to speak. And then there is a place for things that are at a more economical price, amen, um, but can still be pretty. There's value in everything. Whew. I'm also struggling with my allergies today, y'all. So it's, it's all the things, it's all the things. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to some glassware. But first, I'm going to take a quick break. <laughs> 
because one thing about Invisalign, if you happen to be in Invisalign, then you know what I'm talking about. The more you talk, the drier your mouth gets. Like it, it's a whole thing. When I tell you teeth are expensive, now I see why George Washington just had a whole wooden set <laughs> because these teeth be teething. Okay. I like to joke with my dentist that I paid for his motorcycle and those two kids that he has because I've been going to him for 10 years. Anywho, let me stay on task. All right. Next up, I have this beautiful vintage coffee pot. Can I tell you, I love these type of things like as I get older, I realize that my design aesthetic is, wait, is that the word? My design aesthetic is beginning to change. What I like, the type of home decor I like changes. And I find myself in this whole mid-century modern type of uh, era of my life. So see flat bot, flat bot. Ooh, girl, speak English. Flat bottom kind of a gold brass type of situation here. Classic, you know, 60s atomic type of design. They, oh, stay in frame, Shalonda, stay in frame. There you go. And so on the bottom, it says Douglas. So y'all drop down in the comments and tell me if that's, you know, if that's, a, a brand or something. I haven't researched all of these things yet. I literally just unwrapped them from all of the paper, which is currently sitting behind you <laughs> and kept going. Okay. So next up I have this. Now I thought this was really, really pretty, really, really pretty. Um, yellow, I guess this is, can be a cookie jar or a tea jar. Um, wonderful canary yellow. Got etched detailing in there. I'm looking at the edges and the edges around here are a bit rough, but this is something that I learned from Dee. I was watching one of her live shows. As a matter of fact, I think it was yesterday. I was watching her live show yesterday and she mentioned that these are not always like flea bites. Um, sometimes the manufacturer just didn't polish the rough edge. So that's what this looks like to me, that the particular manufacturer did not polish the rough edge, but there you go. All right. And I don't see any type of maker's mark on it, but it's really pretty. It is really, really pretty. I was surprised that Restored Glory wanted to uh, get rid of that one. I'm surprised it wasn't on her shelf somewhere. Okay, um, now we're gonna move into a little bit of like, well, not a little bit, we're gonna move into some glass. I think it's depression glass. You guys drop down in the comments and let me know. But first up, we have this pink bowl, beautiful pink color bowl. Um, has this kind of cut detailing in it, features the image of a, don't get me to lying about birds. I don't know. Uh oh, I think my light is not doing what I need it to do. Okay. It is a footed candy bowl. There's a rim here that makes me think that maybe it originally had a top, but the top has been long lost to history. And so, yeah, I don't know what type of birds these are. I, I am a New York City girl. I know pigeons. <laughs> That's about it. But this is a beautiful, beautiful pink bowl. I think, is this what you call depression glass? I think so. I think so. But I got that. And then we have this beautiful, another serving bowl, Anchor Hocking. Cut detail, there's the Anchor Hocking logo. If you can see on the, no, not Hank, uh, Anchor Hocking, um, Hazel Atlas, excuse me. Hazel Atlas. Uranium glass, it does glow under a black light and the next few pieces that I'm gonna show you, all of them glow under a black light. 
y'all drop down in the comments i keep saying that it makes me feel like a real youtuber can y'all tell me if like the pink glass glows as well like i don't know i don't want to show my ignorance <laughs> on this on this channel but uh it's a question that i had Ooh. okay now this looks like a pretty uh standard probably a mass produced pre piece this kind of looks like an ashtray, but it doesn't really have like divot thingies for cigarettes. So is it maybe part of a larger set? Who knows? I don't know, but there you go. Alrighty. Um, there's no type of maker's mark on it. Um, it looks pretty mass produced, pretty nonetheless, you know, not shading it, but I have this and I believe that this may be the same manufacturer if I'm looking at the detailing of, of the handles but pretty cake platter no not a cake platter oh maybe serving platter serving platter etched glass it's it's very very lovely very very lovely okay I'm going to show you both of these next ones. Try not to break them. Regular divided serving trays. I love the etched detailing, right? And is it me or is this green just giving you your whole entire life? Love it. I would say that each one of these are probably about 10 inches. Okay. Whew. Okay. The final green piece that I have is this lovely uh, daisy. I can't remember the, the maker, but I think the pattern is daisy. Daisy pattern cake dish. I mean, um, oh my God, Lord, girl, speak English. <laughs> what do you call this thing again? um cake platter and i've actually sold one of these before okay so i only have two more pieces left but first some water before i continue i want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel I have a whole 20 subscribers. You can't tell me nothing. <laughs> I have a whole 20 subscribers. Now, that is insignificant in the land of YouTube. But I am proud of the 20 subscribers because, you know, when you start doing stuff like this, you don't even know if you're going to have one subscriber, right? And especially if you're in my age group, Gen X, where, you know... <sighs> It's hard for us to give up YouTube, but you know, YouTube is not really popping anymore, right? It's all about, uh, not YouTube, um, it's hard for us to give up Facebook. You know, we grew up with Facebook, right? Or when we were in our, you know, 20s, it was all about Facebook. Now it's all about YouTube, or as a matter of fact, it's all about TikTok, it's all about Instagram. Now, I refuse to get on TikTok for reasons that I'm not gonna say here because I'm not trying to offend anybody, but let's just say, TikTok is a hard sell for me. If you're trying to convince me to join TikTok, you have a better chance of being eaten by a shark on dry land while holding a $1 billion lottery ticket <laughs> than convincing me to join TikTok. Now, because I know what you put on film lasts forever, what you put on video lasts forever, maybe one day I'll change my mind. But right now, I don't know about TikTok. And that's all I'm going to say on the matter. <laughs> oh, Lord, I am hot all of a sudden. Listen, if you know, you know. And that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> but I am hot. Alrighty. But, um, Lord, I forgot the original point that I was making. Anyway, what I feel like saying now, because I don't remember why I started this whole interlude. 
I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. If I go any amount of time without saying thank you, do know that thanks is always on my mind because you guys don't have to watch my channel. So I really, really thank you. And now for the final two. Ooh, Lord, I'm sweating. Hashtag, if you know, you know. <laughs> Alrighty. I also picked up these Pyrex mixing bowls, Cinderella pattern. Aren't they lovely? There's a YouTuber, oh my God, I can't remember her name, but all she sells, I think, is Pyrex. Not YouTuber, an Instagrammer. I wish I could remember her name, but she does these really cute videos background is popping like it's like wall to ceiling pyrex if y'all know who i'm talking about put it in the comments um and she has a really cute name she kind of reminds me of a 1950s housewife wait let me make i don't want to offend nobody in aesthetic in aesthetic like i look at her and i literally think 1950s housewife not that she's dressed like a 1950s housewife I think it's kind of the, the short curled hair and um, it, it anyway, anyway, I, I digress. I digress. I really, really uh, like the visuals of her channel, but, um, or her page, but Cinderella pattern, nested bowls, love these, love these, love these, and I have the original box. And finally, ooh, the dust is dusting, child. And finally, I picked up this. It is essentially, what do you call these things? Um, a candle house type situation. That's what I'm going to call it. But the front of it says Santa's Motorcycle Shop. It has these dangly doohickeys that are annoying me in this present moment, right? <laughs> but we press on. There's the inside of it. Now I'm going to sit this right here for a moment at risk of knocking over my camera. It sits on a base as well. So essentially, the danger So you would essentially put the uh, tea light, and I recommend an electric tea light. We're not trying to burn down your house. You're not going to say Menagerie Market told me to burn down my house. But um, you put the tea light in here, and it lights up the whole light. And as a matter of fact, here's another thing that I picked up from D. I think this may have been one of her old live sales. She put what she called a puck-like puck light in it which is one of those lights that are about the size of a hockey puck and you press it and it turns different colors i was watching that and i was like that's a really good idea so you can put one of those in there as well um give me one moment if i could see if there is a brand on this one moment oh my god i, I need you to stop please stop Okay, <laughs> that sound was grating, grating my nerves. Okay, but I hope you like it. Okay, so I don't necessarily see a maker on here. I mean, there is a UPC sticker on here that just references Santa's motorcycle, motorcycle shop candle. So I will Google Lens it and see. But that's what I have for you today. That sound is just going to keep going. Okay, it stopped. All right, so that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for taking these whole 24 minutes with me. I'm going to see if I can shorten this video a little bit. Um, perhaps by the time you see it, it will not be 24 and counting. It will be kind of 14 um, or less. Any other things I want to mention? Um, 
Help me please to grow my channel by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, following my channel or subscribing to my channel rather. Um, also come over to Instagram and check me out as well, Menagerie Markets. Check out some of the shorts. You know, I'm really getting into YouTube shorts. I, I, I find them hilarious. Um, yeah, that's all I have for today. I'm hoping to get all of this stuff up, you know, um, to be available for sale soon at eBay. You know all my stores. Y'all y'all check out my information. eBay, Macari, uh, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace, even though Facebook Marketplace is grating my nerves. <laughs> when I tell you, maybe Mark Zuckerberg should have kind of stuck with, you know, the regular donuts that he makes. I used to love Facebook Marketplace. Like it was, it was the bee's knees for me. I sound like a 50 something year old woman. The bee, whatever. It was cool. But I find, and, and I'm not trying to blast, you know, Marky Mark, right? But if you're going to have a platform and allow people the opportunity to sell stuff, I would think you would at least have some sort of customer service in place in the event that there is a problem. But, you know, that's another conversation for another day. Um, maybe I'll make a whole video about that. And in this moment, I'm also thinking maybe I'll make a video and talk to you guys about why I started reselling, you know. But at any rate, um, I am getting notifications on my phone. I think it's about to die. I guess that's it. So thank you for joining me on this lovely Sunday afternoon. Thanks for watching.